Now in this video we'll talk about synchronization. Not exactly it means. So for that let me let me write an example here and based on the, that example we'll, we'll write our code or we'll, we'll try to understand what a synchronization is. So let's say we have a class here and the name of the class is counter. Okay and in this counter we have a variable which is count and in this we have a method we'll say public void increment now what this increment method will do is it will simply increment the value of count okay so if the value of count is initially zero and every time you run this code every time you call increment it will increment it will increase the count of i mean it will, it will increase the value of the count okay so for that what we'll do is we'll try to increment the value using a main method here for that time let me just minimize the window there okay so what we can do here is let me create the object of counter so that we can increment it let's say counter c equal to new counter and what i want to do now is i want to call increment so i can simply say c dot increment okay and later on let me create the object i mean let me print the value of the count there so it's a system dot out dot printer and we'll say count of plus we'll say this is c dot count is it yeah so now if i run this code you can see we'll be getting the output as uh, okay so we got the output as one so count is one let me take the output window here so that it will be very clear for us to see the output now so once since we are calling increment only once it is printing count one what if I if I what if I call increment two times so it will it will run this and it will get it will give you the output which is two right because we are, we are calling increment two times now what I will do is I will call increment multiple times so let, let me call increment let's say 10,000 times of course it, the count value will be 10,000 right but instead of using main thread I will count I will count it for two thousand I mean it will, I will count using two different threads so let's create a thread and each thread will call increment thousand times let's do that so we'll say thread t1 equal to new thread and now we know how to create the object of thread right so we, we can use lambda expression here directly but just to make it simple i will be using runnable object okay i have to, i want to create to, i want to i wanted to create the object of runnable here and here i will create a method which is public void run which is compulsory for us to do right and then in here i will create i will run a loop which will start with one it will go till 1000 and then will i will say plus plus so i got a for loop so this for loop will run for 1000 times and every time it should call c dot increment okay so every time you call every time you call count i mean every time you run this loop it will call increment so in total the value of count will be thousand right uh, let's do that let, let me just do let me just say t1 dot start uh, will it work now so i'm using only one thread now and the count value is zero that's weird why it's not working uh, it's because it is working if you can see if you run this code somebody you, you're getting some value you can see zero we got 219 we got 205 what is happening is as soon as you say start it is running this loop okay it will take some time for running right by the time t1 is busy incrementing this the main thread is doing nothing and it is printing the count here right so what we'll do is we'll, we, we have to ask our main just to wait for t1 to complete its job so for that we have to say t1.join and it might throw an exception let me throw the exception there and now if you run this you can see we got the count value as 100 so what we are doing now with t1.join is we are asking our thread to wait so we are asking our main thread to wait for t1 to complete its job okay so that that is only one thread right i want to use the second thread now so how will you implement second thread let's see that so let me just say so let's say this is t1 done let me just copy this code and i will make one more thread here which is t2 so we'll make this as t2 and this this will do the same thing it will it will increment it will run this loop for thousand times and it will call increment and we have to say t2 dot start and then we have to also wait for t2 to complete his job right so we'll say t2 dot join 
everything seems good, right? So if you run these two loops, it will. If if we run these two threads, it will. It should increment for approximately two thousand times, right? So value of count should be two thousand. And if we run this code, that's weird. We are not getting two thousand. If I run this once again, we are not getting two thousand. Now, why is that the case? It's because when two threads are are doing this addition at the same time, this this statement looks very simple, right? This is incrementing the value, but this is not a simple statement. Count plus plus simply means count equal to count plus one. That means we are doing two. We are performing two action here. One is addition, and second is assignment. Okay, so let's say. T1 and T2 they are running in parallel, right? So T1 comes to increment and says, "Hey, uh, increment, I want to execute." So your increment says, "Okay, go on." So T1 fetches the value of count which is zero. So T1 fetch the value of count which is zero. It says plus one. It is making it one now. So I, the count value for T1, I mean the count value is one, and you assign the value of one to count. So the current value of count is is one. Now T2 reaches. T2 says, "Okay, count. Give me your value. Count will say my value is one. T2 will say, 'Okay, your value is one. I will add one. The value of count now is two, right? So it will assign two. Now T1 will again come. It will fetch the value of count, which is two. It will assign one. The value of count becomes three, and list goes on, right? So for T1 running for thousand times, T2 running for thousand times, in total it should be two thousand." But what is happening is somewhere in between, when T1 reaches and asks for the value of count, so let's say the the current value is let's say 600. So somewhere, somewhere after 600, T1 reaches and T1 says, "Hey, count, give me a value." Count says, "Okay, my value is 600." By the time T1 is as adding the value, so by the time T1 is adding the value, what T2 is doing is. T2 has also fetched the value of count at the same time. Okay, so both are both have both are asking for the value, and the value both got is 600. Both has added one, which which is 601, because both have six 600. Both are adding one, so they got 600 one, and that value is assigned to count. So where it should be 2006, I mean where it should be 6002 or 602. It is six hundred one because instead of incrementing two times, we are incrementing only once because both are fetching the value and both are incrementing it at the same time. And this is not happening. This is not happening once or twice. It is happening multiple times. That means both this thread are using this method at the same time. That is creating the issue. Both the threads are accessing this method at the same time. That is what is creating the issue. What I want now is, if T1 is executing the increment method, T2 should not execute this. If T2 is executing this method, T1 should not interfere. That means you want only one thread to work with this method. And how to achieve that? If you make this method as synchronized, if you make this method synchronized, that means only one thread can work with this method. If T1 is working with increment, T2 has to wait. When T2 is working with the method, T1 has to wait. So maximum one, only one thread can work with this. So if you run this code now, you can see we got the count value as 2000. Let me run this once again. You got the value as 2000. It's that simple. Okay. So that's how you use synchronized method. So point remember is when you don't make your Method synchronized. That means your your method or your object counter is not thread safe. Your class is not thread safe, which means that multiple threads can access the same method at the same time. What we want is we want to make this method synchronized so that only one thread can use it at a time. So when T one is ex executing increment, T two will not interfere. So T two will wait. And when T2 is executing increment, T1 will wait. So that's the fun. That's the idea behind synchronized methods. Okay. And uh, so once we have talked about synchronized, we can also talk about string builder and string buffer. So in in the remaining session, in in the in some next few videos, we will also talk about 
string builder and string buffer. So once we start with string handling, we'll talk about that. So that's about synchronized keyword. Thank you so much.